Hi. Welcome to a lovely sunny morning. Um, just wanted to have a bit of a, a run through why using steps is a great way to improve your running. Uh, firstly, using them to run up, whether it's single steps or double steps, is a great way of firstly encouraging a, a better stride. So picking your knees up a bit more, picking your toes up a bit more and having power as you stride up off the steps. A bit like hill reps really. Um, when you're doing single steps, your strides are a little bit shorter, so they're good at improving and working on your uh, cadence or your turnover. To get a good turnover, it encourages a good arm drive, because the better we do with our arms, the better we work our legs. So the single steps are good for um, cadence and turning the legs over quick. Two steps are a bit more strength, a bit more power, still need good arm drive, encourage a bit more knee lift, a bit more um, toe pick up as well, which is all um, the sort of characteristics we're trying to improve when we're um, running. The second part is um, hops and jumps up steps. Now these are a great introduction to plyometrics and general jump training. The reason being you get all the work of the upwards bit without having a, a big um, descent because obviously you're jumping up to a platform rather than jumping down. And it's usually the downwards parts where there's just that potential if you're not um, done the right conditioning work leading into it that's perhaps where you can um, get your injuries. So steps are a great way of introducing um, getting some jumps and plyometrics work um, in your uh, routine. We're going to look at um, a beginners intermediate one and I'll explain a little bit about where you might progress uh, some of these exercises as well. So I'm going to run through a little routine and explain a bit as we go along and uh, see where we go from there. So the first two bits I'm going to do are running up single steps and running up double steps. Okay. singles and then double. So as I mentioned, the characteristics of the singles are faster turnover, shorter ground contact time, so almost immediately you hit the step, you're moving on to the next foot. The two steps, bigger stride, a bit more power, have to drive up off the step. As you get tired, they make it a bit more labored. When we're doing all of this stuff, we're not trying to get you to a point of uh, fatigue where your form goes and the quality isn't there. These are just drills to reinforce really good positive training habits. Okay, now I would work on the singles, doing three sets of those and then three sets of the doubles, just done one lot just to introduce it today. Next bits, we're going to do two footed single step jump with what we call a stick landing. So you're going to jump up, get a really good set position, a good flat foot landing. You're not just landing on your heels or just landing on your toes, it's a good uh, mid foot into a, a flat landing. Stick your landing and then jump and we'll go up again. I'll demonstrate one run of those and then you're going to do the same thing again but we're going to show you doing two steps at a time so it's a bigger jump but still really trying to work on that one
So what we're using to try and generate the force there is a stiffness through the body and a drive with the arms. You run with your arms, we need to get that oomph in this example using some arms as well. So it's a good stiffness through the body and we're springing up and out of the knees. It's not a slow squat jump, it's a, like a reflex flick out of the knees. We're after what we call a, an athletic stiffness in the knees. They're not locked out straight, we just give it a little bit of a kink and we use that flex to move us up. So progression from that is to now take it to uh, bound up the steps. Again, I'll demonstrate single steps first and then the doubles. This time we're trying to spend as short amount of time as possible on each step. So we spring in and we turn it into more of a, a plyometric movement. Still good landings, moving up nice and sharp. And into the doubles. So again, reps and sets wise, anything that's probably 10 to 15 contacts, so 10 to 15 steps perhaps, and two to three sets, so two to three goes at that, whether it be the single steps or the double steps. Again, we're not after you get into a point of fatigue, we wanna keep these nice and sharp and crisp, lots of purpose and intent, that purpose and intent and sharpness diminishes as you get more tired. So if you're finding the tiredness is coming through, the fatigue's coming, just take longer in between each set. So the final progression for now is we can do those last two exercises but on single leg. So first, first go, we're gonna do a stick landing. So single leg, stick each landing on each step. And then we can try, again, still a single step, but springing upwards. So I'll go through those two now. First one with a stick landing, second one springing up. So on that one, it's really important to spend the time getting that landing right. If your landing's poor and you're unbalanced, it's gonna affect the next jump and then the next jump. And it will also affect how well you progress into this next one, which is your more plyometric one. Because we're going bang, 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 every time you get a poor landing, that's really gonna spoil the next one. And you haven't got time when we're doing the plyometric manner to correct that. You'll just end up moving to the sides and you're losing your balance. This one's a bit sharp. So again, we're after that stiffness in the legs, trying to spend as short a period of time on the floor as possible. We land and then we come back up. So in this little drill, or this little video, we've gone through three main different exercises. We've got the runs, we've got the jumps with a stick landing, and the springy, springy ones, plyometric ones, 
and we've got the same versions but on a single leg which are the most challenging ones so more of your intermediate moving into your advanced ones spend the time getting the form really good uh, it's all about good timing and good drive and intent um, the basic ones done really really well are better than trying to get to the harder exercises but executing them uh, poorly just really good form um, you can work through these maybe once a week is a great start point um, as you feel you get a bit stronger and more familiar with them um, once or twice a week is good just in a little circuit at the end of a run it'll take you five or ten minutes just to put those in I um, would suggest working on getting some general strength and conditioning in your uh, legs um, as well so things like your squats and your lunges and your single leg work um, and general hill reps um, sort of work will uh, help keep that good strength base in your legs too again don't go to the point of fatigue you're just trying to train in speed and good habits you're not trying to train yourself to get slower on each set and repetition if you want a bit more information then just click on the description below and i'll give a few uh, links and a bit more program advice about how many reps and sets and, and when to introduce them but i hope that was helpful